Hello everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to ChasingCinema.com's official YouTube channel. I'm your host Jacob Toronto and today is Saturday which means it's miscellaneous day, a day where I get to talk about whatever I want and I think I've decided to dedicate this day to possibly saving your life. Um, for all my locals out here, last year I wrote an article for the Rebel Yell about the rules of surviving a horror movie. I've created a list, a giant list nonetheless, on what I believe the, the key rules are to making sure that you would survive a horror movie. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, Halloween is creeping up. It is right around the corner, and I want to make sure you guys are prepared as possible. So, I decided to revisit last year's list, as I will be publishing another list this upcoming week. So, Make sure to tune into that. However, before I get into that, I just quickly want to remind everyone that yesterday was Friday. I reviewed Bridges of Spies. I reviewed um, Goosebumps as well as Crimson Peak. So make sure to go check out those reviews right here, here, and here. But let's hop right into it, guys. I want to tell you guys about these rules. I've been watching films for a very, very long time. I've been watching horror for a very, very long time. So I decided that ever since I was young that I would compile a list of rules. And I know that makes me sound nerdy, makes me sound crazy, whatever it may be. However, I feel like these rules would be uh, necessary for you and mostly everyone else to survive a horror movie. Now, I'm going to be quickly reading this article. If you want to read along with this actual article that I was that was published, you could do so right now. Here. Ooh, you guys like how I'm switching it up? I love it. For most of you, Halloween means costumes, candy, haunted houses, but to me, there's only one reason for Halloween, and that is to celebrate the horror of the genre of horror, scary movies, um, the great, great genre that have kept people up at night, that made them sleep with the light on, and that has influenced a lot of different artists in our in our generation. Um, you know, Halloween. Nightmare on Elm Street, Scream, Rosemary's Baby, The Exorcist, all these films have haunted people and made them sleep with the closet door shut, or depending on who they are, open, every single night before they went to bed. And I was one of those people. Horror had as a profound effect on me. I've seen so many horror films. It's arguably one of my favorite genres because of how much fun it is, uh, as well as it is scary. Uh, but before I go on, I must give credit where credit is due. Jamie Kennedy's character from Wes Craven's Scream uh, mentions a handful of survival rules in the famous movie franchise, which will re uh, some of the major rules will appear below. I will note that his character did die though, and scream. Spoiler alert, I'm sorry. So, this is probably proving that he wasn't the right person to take advice from. I, however, am still alive. Rule number one, I advise you all to learn to be selfish. Caring for others will just slow you down. I know that might be hard for some of you, but trust me, being selfish is a lot better than being locked in Leatherface's basement. Rule number two, avoid all abandoned houses, empty old barns, broken down gas stations. That's a big one, and one that seems to ha a lot of people ignore. Rule number three, do not attempt to play with Ouija boards, spell books, satanic ritual guides. Do not try to perform any seances. Don't even play light as a feather, light as a feather, stiff as a board. Just don't do it. All you're doing is opening, do opening a door for an unwelcome guest. Rule number four, I know this is a tough one, no drugs. I know the U.S. is like on the way to legalize marijuana in every single state. Which is fine on its own, but chances are you will not survive a horror movie. Hi, this also means no alcohol. Impaired judgment usually means inevitable death. Rule number five, start believing everyone, especially kids. This may sound a little bit misleading, but don't think your kid is lying when he says that his good guy doll just killed someone. And, and don't think your wife is just being emotional when she talks about a little boy's ghost she saw last night. In scary movies, it's always safer to believe someone than to think they're just lying or crazy. Rule number six, don't be a bully. You should never bully regardless. However, it holds true in scary movies. Just think about what happened to Carrie White and what she did to her bullies. Rule number 10, if someone has a bite of any kind, your best bet is to shoot them and get it over with. I know it sounds rough. Remember rule number one, be selfish. Uh, however, in this case of zombies, you have no choice. In situations potentially involving werewolves, just to be safe, use a silver bullet. Rule number 14, do not buy houses or any other property where a murder has taken place. Uh, also, side note, do not purchase any property near or by a graveyard w where a graveyard once was slash and or Indian burial ground. 
Rule number 21, if you think the killer is dead, you are wrong, so you'd better do everything in your power to make she or he is actually deceased, because if not, the killer will either A, come back for one more attempt on your life before the movie ends, or B, disappear and launch you into a sequel or maybe even a franchise. Ask Laurie Strode. Rule number 33, absolutely no road trips. Unacceptable. I know you guys want to go to Cali or you need to go to the beach. You want to do your little spontaneous trips. No, especially in a van. Okay, granted, we aren't in the 70s anymore, so people aren't necessarily driving around just wandering in a van. But horror movie road trips always get cut short by a killer, usually right after they're warned by that creepy guy at the gas station. Rule number 48, do not say anything into a mirror in a dark room like Candyman or Bloody Mary. Rule number 57, do not eat or drink anything you receive from the weird old neighbors down the hall that are just too friendly. Just ask Rosemary and her baby. Rule number 66, no summer camp. I don't care if you're volunteering as a counselor. I don't care if you're going for band or basketball. Don't do summer camps. Just ask Jason Voorhees. Rule number 72, if you are camping or in the woods at all, you are already dead. You just don't know it. Rule number 81, smash, burn, then dispose of any dolls, puppets, or any other creepy toys. Rule number 95, do not even bother with your cell phone. It will be dead, and if it isn't, you won't have any service. Nice try, though. Rule 155, I don't care what Stephanie Meyer says about vampires. Don't fall for guys with fangs or capes. Rule number 245, if you are being haunted, do not film yourself. As we learn from the Paranormal Activity franchise, it just upsets the specter that is haunting you. Rule number 306, if you're ever an innocent bystander and you're approached by someone who appears to be in a horror film, do not help them. Again, it may sound harsh, but helpful strangers always get axed. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that list is enough to keep you guys alive for the next week as I'm going, next week, I'm going to be introducing my volume two of Rules for Surviving a Horror Movie. Uh, I can only hope you guys take my advice, but if you don't, I only wish you the best (laughs) ladies and gentlemen don't forget to check out this actual article that i wrote yes it is published work i know how surprising that is but a lot of people had a lot of fun with this so i hope you do too down here in the description box below post it on facebook twitter share it with all your friends and maybe they'll be able to make it out alive this halloween ladies and gentlemen let me know if you have any rules of your own down here in the comment sections below right above the comment section there's a thumbs up button you go ahead give that a click lets me know that you appreciate what i did here today and maybe the rules have helped you in some way uh, also, a great way to never miss any of the videos is to hit that subscribe button right down there. Go ahead, just click it right there. That could be a rule, rule 100, 947. Click the subscribe button when the YouTube guy tells you to. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning into this video. My name is Jacob Toronto, and please continue chasing cinema. Rule number 33, absolutely no woe trips.